Welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the Frontier Softball Field. Again, it's the dynamic deal. We have the Frontier Red Ox versus the Greenfield Green Wave. It's going to be an excellent game. Two very good teams going at it. And, uh, you know, ri a rival game. So, uh, it's going to be a good one. Leaning off for the Red Ox, or for the uh, Wave, excuse me, is Gloria McDonald. She's in center field. And on the mound for the Red Ox is Rain Wanze. Grounder over to second base. Santos over to Penardi, and I'll be out number one. So one in pitch, one out. And that will bring up Grace Lurie. Lowry, excuse me, sh the shortstop for the wave. That pitch will be inside for ball number one. One and no count. And that's a grounder over to third base. Akoski over to Penardi for out number two. And three pitches and two outs. So. Nice play from Hakoski. And that will bring up Ainsley Flynn, the catcher for the wave. Good pitching so far from uh, Rain. Wanze. And Rain delivers. That'll be a little low for ball number two, 2-0 two count. Flynn looking for a pitch here. Rain delivers, that will be down the middle for strike number one. Two one count now. Rain delivers. Grounder over to shortstop, fielded by Steele, thrown over to Penardi for out number three, and that will be a one, two, three inning for the Red Hawks. Uh, short, that was from Steele to Penardi. So we'll go to the bottom of the first. That was a very quick top of the first inning uh, where the Hawks look to get some runs here. You're watching, we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here, the dynamic duo at the Frontier softball field where the score in the bottom of the first inning is 0 to nothing. We'll see if the Hawks can get on the board here in the bottom of the first inning. And batting leading off is Ashley Taylor. On deck is Delaney Fifield. She's uh, the catcher for the Hawks. And in the hole is Skylar Steele, the shortstop. So Kenzie Pion on the mound for the, uh, the wave. And here comes the pitch. High for ball one, but that had some speed on it. So one and no count. And Pion looks to deliver. Swing and a miss. It was a bit of a high pitch, but evens it up one and one now. Pion gets the sign. Here comes the pitch, and called, strike two. One, two. one and two count for Taylor. So now she's got to protect it, anything close. All right. Pion looks to deliver. Grounder over to third base and goes foul. So good job by Ashley Taylor staying alive there. Four pitch at bat here. Still one and two count. And Pine looks to deliver. Swing in, strike three. So, so I'll be strikeout number one for Kenzie Pion, or Kenzie Pollen, excuse me. That'll bring up Del Delaney Fifield, the catcher for the Red Ox. Pion looks to deliver. And that'll be high for ball number one. Good eye from uh, Delaney Fifield. <laughs> and the bench chanting on Lou Fifield. <laughs> Pollen delivers, swing and a miss. One and one count. Puncher's bench definitely coming with some noise here. Trying to rattle uh, Kenzie Pollen. And inside strike called. One and two count. And in the windup, gets the pitch, delivers, swing and deep fly ball left field and center field. Nice catch there by number one, Glory McDonald. So that'll be out number two as five field flies out to center field. And that will bring up Skylar Steele, shortstop for the Red Ox. And Kenzie delivers, pop up, and oh, 
almost caught there by the first baseman, Madison LeMay. Just tipped off her glove. Was coming towards us. I mean, Ben. So that will be 0-1 count. And here comes a pitch from Fallen. That will be ball one high. That will make the count even, one and one. Steele looking for hers. Trying to have fun with two outs here. Here comes the pitch. High for ball number two. Two one count. And Pollen looks to deliver. Looked a little bit off speed, and that one's caught the ball. So good eye there from Skylar Steele. That'll make it a three one count. So it's gotta be a pretty good pitch here. Bench definitely making some noise. And then a swing and a miss. Just a little behind it. So 3 2 full count. This is it base hit or ball four? And Steele will be swinging at anything close. And swing and a miss, strike three. So two strikeouts for Kenzie Pollen, and we will go to the top of the second inning score, still zero to zero. And we'll quickly thank our sponsors, though. Uh, we have Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Riddell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Uh, you can give my mom in her office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberthearing.com. As well as uh, Gilmore and Farrell uh, Insurance and uh, Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. Top of the second inning. That one will be in the dirt there. The batter is Kenzie Pollen. The, what I like to call is the mano y mano, pitcher versus pitcher. So nothing, no score after one. And it'll be, again, Rain Wanze pitching for the Red Ox. Two back-to-back -back pitches in the dirt. So an o, uh, two zero count. One Zay delivers, and that'll be inside. Good, good eye by Paul in there. Three zero count, and then at this point, it's got to be perfect. Right down the middle. Otherwise, you're looking for a walk here from Pollen. And there you go, right down the middle. <laughs> uh, so, 3 1 count. And 
One day delivers. Grounder goes up the middle, and that'll be a base hit for Kenzie Pollen. All right. So that will bring up the third baseman, Olivia LeMay, with Pollen on first base. And we got our first lefty of the game, I believe. And here comes the pitch. And then Pollen will take off to second. Good steal there by Kenzie. Heads up base running with no outs there. So Pollen will be in scoring position off that wild pitch. Here comes the pitch. Swing foul back to the backstop, excuse me. So again, no outs. Pollen in scoring position on second base. One save delivers and a high. Pollen will take off to third. So two stolen bases. Pollen. So base hit gets her base hit scores run as uh, Pollen is now on third base. So three two one count. And a swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Wanze there. That evens it up two and two now. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off. Good job protecting the plate there by Olivia LeMay. So still two and two count. The five pitch at bat here. Comes the pitch, fouled up, not in play. So now six pitch at bat. Good battle here between uh, Rain and Rain Wanze and Olivia LeMay. And we got a good, good crowd over there. And that will be just outside for ball number three. That'll make it 3-2 full count. Base hitter ball four here. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off and out of play. This is a long at bat. Very different from the first inning, as it was the first inning was only a six-pitch inning for uh, Reina Wanze. Here comes the pitch, and that'll be in the dirt. Ball four, and Paulin takes off the home, and she'll score. So three stolen bases off three wild pitches. So Paulin. Gets a hit and scores a run. That will be the first score of the game as Olivia LeMay walks there. That will bring up Madison LeMay, the first baseman for the wave. Good stop there by Delaney Fightfield. That one's in the dirt. And So, Reina delivers. That would be a little low for ball number two. 2-0 two count. And here comes the pitch from Reina. That will be high and outside for ball number three. Three. 
3-0 count. So she'll have to work all the way back here. And Madison LeMay will just have to wait for hers. Could be back-to-back -back walks here. And swing and a miss. Good job by Raina sticking in there. Uh, Single with it. Three one count. Raina delivers. Called strike two. Three two full count. So she does work all the way back. And this is the payoff pitch. And strike three called, looking. So now will be out number one for the Red Hawks. That'll bring up Callie uh, Lewis, the left fielder for the wave. Here comes the pitch. High, but swung, so. And that'll make it. Oh, and one count. Here comes the pitch. High for ball one. As I was out high and away. One and one count. Still waiting at first is Olivia LeMay with one gone. Comes the pitch. And that looked like a little off speed, and that'll be fouled out of play. So, one and two count. Here comes the pitch from Reyna. That'll be in the dirt. Fight field. Good job deflecting it. So I'll make it 2-2. <laughs> and here comes the train. Reno delivers. Strike three called, looking. Almost the same spot as last time. So two back-to-back -back strikeout looking, and that will bring up L uh, LR. The second baseman for the wave. And that another strike called. Good pitch from Reyna. 0-1 count. Good fans. Good crowd here tonight. Uh, even with the bad weather. Swing and a miss. 0-2 count. Green Waves bench making some noise. Oh, two count. Strike three called looking. Three back to back strikeouts. Back to back to back strikeouts, excuse me. And uh, that will end the top of the second inning. But damage done from a hit from Kenzie Pollen. And she scored a run. So uh, the Greenfield Green Wave on top by one. We'll go to the bottom of the second inning. We're, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the Frontier softball field. And up to bat is the cleanup hitter, Liv Michon. Center fielder for the Red Ox. Pollen pitched very well in that first inning. That one will be fouled up and out of play. Let's see if it hits the, before the dugout, excuse me. Left field <laughs> is Love Michon's position. And so an oh one count. Here comes the pitch. And that was an excellent eye from Liv Michon as that was just low in a way. So that evens it up one and one now. Pollen looks to the liver. And swing and a miss. She's got that speed. That's very helpful for her. One and two count. Here comes the pitch. Grounder over to shortstop. Can she make the play? Throws it over to first. And called safe. Good job by Liv Michon running it out. That's what you always do. And she gets a hit there on base, the leadoff hit. And that will bring up Sophia Panardi, the first baseman for the Red Ox. So Michonne at first, ball and delivers. High and away. So one and zero count for Panardi. Frontier trying to get that run back. Here comes the pitch. Michonne almost she faked faked everyone out. Almost takes off the second there. Um, Called strike, <laughs> one and two count for Penardi. Here comes the, sh uh, the swing and a miss. So it was a ball, two and two, no? One and two count <laughs> for Penardi. Kenzie Pollen. Looks to deliver. Foul, or uh, popped up and dropped. So Michonne will have to take out the second. Oh, man. Some miscommunication there, and uh, what should have been an easy out. And it's called a foul ball out of play. Wow. So an interesting turn of events there. And a new life for Sophia Panardi, basically. Still one and two count. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. And that will bring up Gabby Adams, the second baseman for the Red Hawks. Michonne still at first. So one gone. Sean on first. And here comes the pitch. Shows bunt, pulls it back. Call the ball. So one and no count. So 
So one and out count. Pollen looks to deliver. Shows bunt. And just hit the top of the bat, fouled out of play. So that evens up the count one and one. And Paulin delivers. Shows bunt. Called strike. Michonne gets down, called safe. So she gets the steal. As Michonne took out there, two second. And she's now in scoring position at second base. So one, two count for Adams. So now she's got, I mean, if she bunts and fouls it off, it will be um, an out. So I'm sure she'll be swinging here. Not anything close. And that one's out of play. And into the benches. <laughs> it's always a little worrying when it comes our way a little bit. The other day, a baseball almost hit the iPod camera, and that would have been disastrous. So still one, two count for Gabby Adams. And Pollen looks to deliver. And that one fouled back and saved by the vines. <laughs> it's not like the, uh, the woods over at the baseball field that just eats those baseballs up. It would go into, the foul ball would go into somebody's backyard. One, two count <laughs> for Adams. Paul and delivers. Strike three called. So two back-to-back -back strikeouts. This one, last one was swinging. This one's looking, and that will bring up Haley Hakoski, the third baseman for the Red Ox. Her first at bat of the game. Haley calls time. Definitely a battle here. It's Michonne at second base. Here comes the pitch. Strike looking, so now she's seen it. So no one count. With two gone here. Pollen looks to deliver, shows bunt, and now to play. So that will make the count 0-2. Definitely a little interesting. So Haley will be swinging at anything in the zone. Deshaun's still at second, so Frontier still looking to like get that run back. And Pollen will deliver. High and swing and a miss. So, Frontier, they, Michonne gets on base with a hit there, but no damage done as three strikeouts in a row for Kenzie Pollen. And that makes it five on the night. So, already. We'll go to the top of the third inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Connections Television. You're watching the Tom Albert and Ben Roberts. And it, we'll go to the bottom of the order for the wave. Sarah McLeod, the right fielder, um, is up to bat. And Frontier just talking up real quick. As we are in the top of the third inning, Greenfield scored one run last inning off a three steals and a hit from Kenzie Pollan. So there's three wild pitches. Raina looks to deliver. That'll be low and inside for ball one. Raina delivers high for ball two. All right, so 2-0 count. Raina delivers. Swing and a miss. Good pitch from Raina. Makes it 2-1 and one now. Raina delivers inside for ball number three. Three one count. Here comes the pitch. And that'll be a strike called looking. That'll make it three two full count for Sarah McLeod. Here comes the payoff pitch. And in play, Reyna will field it, barehanded over to first. And called, save. Good heads up, base running there by Sarah McLeod. As that was like a little blooper right back to Reyna. So, leadoff hit for McLeod, and we go to the top of the order. Gloria McDonald, center fielder for the wave. Here comes the pitch. Called, strike one. Good pitch from Reyna. Reyna delivers. And taken out to second. And goes into the outfield. As yeah, no one was there. Yeah, oh, oh, one and one count. <laughs> Getting signals from Ben Roberts, so. Here comes the pitch. Inside for ball number two. Two and one now. And that, with that steal, puts uh, McLeod uh, in scoring position. Grounder down the third baseline, fielded, stay fair. So nice play there by, I think, Haley Koski. Good fielder's choice. McDonald, Gloria McDonald did her job moving the runner. And that will bring up uh, Grace uh, Lowry, the shortstop for the wave. Here comes the pitch. High and outside for ball number one. And Sarah McLeod over at third base now. So well and a base hit scores a run. And uh oh, now in a pickle as, as she gets tagged out. So good job by Delaney Fifield throwing it down to Akoski as they caught her sleeping. That takes away the run. Don't even know what to write in the score book, but. Two one count. 
Pop up and Adams to end the inning. Great job by the Red Ox as they get out of that with no damage. That ends the top of the third. Fly out to second base. So we'll go to the bottom of the third inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the softball field at Frontier. And um, score is one to nothing. We're in the bottom of the third inning. The batter is number 21, uh, Reina Wanze. And it's not pitcher versus pitcher, mano y mano as I call it. Oh, one count. And Paulin looks to over. High and away for ball number one, one and one. So Paulin looks in for the pitch and delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike number two. That makes the count one and two. comes the pitch in a minute. Hi <laughs> for ball number two. Evens it up, two and two. Paul looks in for the pitch. Here it comes. And swing and a miss. Strike out. Swinging. That'll make it already six strikeouts in four in a row from Kenzie Pollen. Bottom of the order will go to the go to Abby Schreiber, the right fielder for the Red Ox. So here we go. Abigail Shriver. And Pollen delivers, shows bunt, pulls it back. High and away pitch. 
for ball number one. One and no count. First and third in a little bit for the bunt. Shows bunt, and that'll be called strike as she yelled it out there. 0-2 count now. On delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Oh. Two. Not strike three. My bad. <laughs> so, anyways, one and two count as I get ahead of myself there. Here comes the pitch. Shows Bunch. She puts it down and fouled out of play. And that'll make it two. So, because she put it bunted and it was out of play, it's an out. So, that will make it two outs. And that will bring up top of the order Ashley Taylor for the Red Ox. Center fielder. Here comes a pitch from Pollen. Swing and a miss. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. Still score one to nothing. See if Taylor can get something going. With two, have fun with two. Paul and deliver shows bond and there's a running bond. So, O2 count. And almost call time here is a long one. Pollen delivers high. And away for ball number one. One, two count. On deck is Delaney Fifield. And Skyler stealing the hole. comes the pitch pop up into left center field and nice catch there by the shortstop to end the third inning still one to nothing greenfield on top and we will go to the top of the fourth inning you're watching frontier community access television we'll be right back Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Ben Roberts here, the dynamic duo and at Frontier Softball Field. We're in the top of the fourth inning where the score is one to nothing. Greenfield Green Wave on top as they got a score. They scored a run in the second inning. It'll bring that'll bring up Ainsley Flynn here in the fourth. 
Her last at bat, she grounded out to the shortstop. And that will be high for ball number one. Here comes the pitch from Reyna. Oh, wow. That one, she's got to straighten that one out. As that goes into the fences, the other fences, wow. Flynn got all over that one. <laughs> Here comes the pitch. And that line dry, or pop up into the left field dropped by Michonne. So a hit for Ainsley Flynn. Into left field. That will bring up Kenzie Pollen. And it's and she's a pit, pitcher for the Greenfield Green Wave. Her last at bat, she had a hit and three stolen bases and scored a run. So and that will be Inside for ball one. Oh one count or one and zero count. Excuse me. Uh, Raina delivers high for ball number two. Reyna will deliver. Grounder over to third base. She'll throw to Koski over to second base and over to one. And luckily, it, uh, they'll get the lead runner there, fielder's choice, to uh, the third base there, over to second. And that will bring up Olivia LeMay. Her last at bat, she walked. And grounder back to the pitcher. Reyna will throw it over to first base for out number two. And two quick outs there. That'll bring up uh, Madison LeMay. And her last at bat, she struck out looking. But, once again, Kenzie Pollen at second base, so. And Pollen takes off the third. And again, she could score a run here. But she's got another stolen base. That makes it four on the night already. We're only in the fourth inning. So, base hit scores a run. Reyna delivers. That one's called a strike there, so one and one. Here comes the pitch. She got to hold that one into right field. That will drop in for an ivory eye uh, double, it looks like, as she takes out the second. So, great job by Madison LeMay. An RBI double. And she had fun with two there. As Pollen scores both runs now. So that will bring up Kelly, Kaylee Lewis. And her last at bat, she struck out looking. Oh for one. That one's low for ball number one. Two, oh, two nothing lead for the Greenfield Green Wave. It'll be high for ball number two. And again, uh, Madison LeMay in scoring position at second base. Here comes the pitch, and that'll be in the dirt. LeMay will stay at second as a good 
job by Lou Fifield blocking that one. Here comes the pitch. Grounder hits it off the plate, and that'll be a foul ball. Two and two, I believe. Swing and a miss. So I messed it up. <laughs> One, uh, it was two and one count. Now it is two and two. As that one evens it up. My bad. I apologize. Here comes the pitch. That one almost coming my way. Foul ball out of play. So still two two count. Nothing changed there. Reina delivers. Grounder will be just foul. Still two and two. And Reina looks to deliver. Reach the arm out, but can't grab that one, Ben. Still two and two. A long battle here for uh, Kelly Lewis and uh, Reina Wanze. Here comes the pitch. Called strike three looking. So Reina wins that one after a long at bat. So we will go to the bottom of the fourth inning where Greenfield, they just scored another run. They add on to their lead. Now 2 nothing from a double um, from Madison LeMay, an RBI double to center field. And we'll quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Waddell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can uh, give my mom and her office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberthearing.com. As well as uh, also sponsored by uh, Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. They uh, And um, Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT's, or, uh, of FCAT. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the Frontier Softball Field where the score is two to nothing. Greenfield Green Wave on top of the Frontier Red Ox. And up to bat is Delaney Fifield, the catcher for the Red Ox. As the crowd's definitely piled in on both sides now. And that will be called strike one yeah this is a big rivalry game um so <laughs> oh one count Pollen looks to deliver here comes the pitch and yes she did 
That one was high and away, but. O2 count. Paulin looks to deliver, swing and a miss, strike three. So that will be one, two, seven strikeouts for Paulin. <laughs> and that will bring up Skyler Steele, our last bat. She struck out swinging. So see if she can get things going here with one gone. And on deck is Liv Michon. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's got to be really tough because Pollen has really good speed. So you got to be right on the pitch. It's got to be perfect. Here comes the pitch from Pollen. A little off speed low. That'll make it one and one. Here comes the pitch from Paulin. High for ball two, two and one. Good hitters count here. Steel calls time. So here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Evens it up now, two and two. Now she's got to swing at anything close to protect the plate. Again, one gone. Here comes the payoff pitch. And low in the dirt. 3-2, full count now. Looking for a base, base hit, ball four for Skylar Steele here. And here comes the pitch from Pollen. Swing and a miss. Yet another strikeout swinging. That will be eight strikeouts on the night for Kenzie Pollen. Wow. And I don't know if you count the uh, the bunting strikeout as well. Whether that's, that's a strikeout. Not sure. But that will bring up Liv Michon, the left fielder for the Red Ox. And she had the only hit. In, this, in the second inning to the shortstop with the stolen base in there as well. That one's in there for a strike. See if she can have fun with two here. Oh, one count. Ball and delivers. Oh, liner right at the coach. <laughs> Good job for him getting out of the way. Down the first baseline there. So no two count for Michonne. And everyone's got to be on their toes now, Ben. <laughs> and the people at home watching. Here comes the pitch. I fouled back out of play. And hits the back of back fence so still an 0-2 count for Liv Michon all right
right, so new game ball. Paul looks in for the pitch, and here comes the delivery. Strike three. Looking. If I'm corrected, that'll be one, two, three, four. Nine strikeouts on the night for Kenzie Pollen. As we'll go to the top of the fifth inning, score still two to nothing. Greenfield Green Wave on top. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here, the dynamic duo at the Frontier Softball Field, where it's the Greenfield Green Wave on top, two to nothing in the top of the fifth inning. And the batter will be Ella R, the second baseman for the Greenfield Green Wave. Swing and a miss. So, 0 1 count. Here comes the pitch. Good eye from Ella there. Evens it up 1 and 1. Greenfield's bench making lots of noise. And that pitch down the middle, 1 and 2 count. Here comes the pitch. Strike three called. The look in. So that will be one gone. And that will be bring up Sarah McLeod, the right fielder for the, the Greenfield Green Wave. Her last at bat, she had to hit back to the pitcher. And then that will be ball number one there. But she was caught in a pickle um, at third base. So... Here comes the pitch from Reina. And good job there holding up it was uh, Sarah McLeod. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Comes the pitch from Reyna. Fouled back, out of play. That'll even up two and two now. Twos, as we call it. <laughs> Here comes the pitch from Reyna. Low, caught by Fifefield. And another strikeout for. Reina Wanze, strike out, swinging. And that will bring up the top of the order, Gloria McDonald, center fielder for the Greenfield Green Wave. Yeah. 
Comes the pitch. Swing and a miss as Gloria wanted all of that one. On one count. Reina delivers, and that one hits before the plate, so ball one in the dirt. Evens it up one and one. Here comes the pitch. And McDonald lays, up, lays off that one. As, that one's outside for ball number two. Two and one count. And inside for ball number th three. Three and one count. Here comes the pitch. And liner up the middle for Gloria McDonald as she gets things going with two outs here in the top of the fifth inning. And that will bring up Grace uh, Lowry. Shortstop for the um, Greenfield Green Wave. Her last step back, she flew out to the second baseman. See if she can get a hit here. And that'll be a call for strike one. No, one, oh, one count. Called strike two. 0-2 now. So now Grace has got to protect at anything close. There's two outs here. And McDonald on first. She takes out the second. And that'll be a nice steal for Gloria McDonald. She takes out the second there. And um, that'll be a ball. So one and two count. Still a little low that last pitch. Comes the pitch from Marina into right field. And Shriver makes the play. So fly out to the right fielder there. We will go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Score still 2 to nothing. Greenfield Green Wave on top. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. 
And the batter is Sophia Pinardi, the first baseman for the Red Ox. Pollen delivers that one behind away. And here comes the pitch from Paulin. Strike called. 0-2 count. Penardi now has to protect the plate and swing at anything close. Paulin delivers. And in the dirt. Nice pitch, though. One and two count. Pollen delivers. Inside for ball number two. Evens it up two and two. Still got to protect it anything and swing at anything close, though. So. Comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Oh. I guess not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that makes it two and two count. Yeah, we were one pitch ahead over here. <laughs> Strike three, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> called looking. So that makes the strikeout anyways. Um, and Pollen's got... Ten strikeouts on the night. Wow. In the fifth inning. Holy moly. That'll bring up Gabby Adams. And if I'm... Shows Bond. Fouled off. If I'm corrected. Kenzie has... Six strikeouts in a row. So... Very impressive night so far from Pollen. Here comes the pitch. Adams lays that one down. Pollen will field it bare hand, throws it over to first. Four out, number two. So bunt back to the pitcher, will be an out. That will bring up Haley Akoski. The third baseman for the Red Ox. And her last at bat. She struck out swinging, so. Shows bunt. Yes, she did. Oh, one count. Frontier trying to get things going now here with two outs. Here comes the pitch. Shows Bun pulls it back. That one's away for ball number one. He's up to count one and one now. Paul gets the pitch. Here comes the pitch. And high for ball two as Haley pulled that one back as well. Two and one now. Two out to the top of the fifth. Two and one count. Pollen delivers and that one Haley who's out there, so he ends up to count two and two now. Yeah. 
Here comes the the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So that'll be 11 strikeouts on the night for Kenzie Pollan. And we will go to the top of the sixth inning where the score is two to nothing. Um, we'd like to quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Riddell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom and her office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberthearing.com. And we're also sponsored by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. And welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the Frontier Softball Field, where the score is two to nothing in the top of the sixth inning. Greenfield, Green Wave on top, and the batter will be Ainsley Flynn. And she is one for two. Her last at bat, she had hit to the left field. This one goes up the line and stays foul. That could have been a double for Ainsley Flynn there if it stayed fair. And we'll get a new softball there. I almost said baseball. And Reina will deliver I for ball number one. Evens it up one and one. Here comes the pitch. Grounded down the third baseline again. That one will stay foul as well. One and two. Now Flynn's got to protect. Here comes the pitch. That one will be in the dirt for ball number one, two, two and two, twos. Here comes the pitch. Grounder down the third baseline. Akoski over to Penardi for out number one. Good battle, though, from Flynn. And that'll bring up Kenzie Pollen as she got on base last time uh, with a hit to the third base. And she scored both runs of the game and had a hit in the first uh, in the second inning, excuse me, to lead it off. And a couple stolen bases, so. Playing well on both sides of the, on the field. Yeah, she has four stolen bases, if I'm correct. Raina delivers. Paulin gets a hold of that one, and Mashan makes the catch. What a play in left field by Web <laughs> Mashan. So 
So that will bring up Olivia LeMay, her last at bat. She's 1-0 for 1 with a walk in the second inning and grounded up to the pitcher. That will be in there for ball number one. It is definitely getting chilly out here with a cloudy day. Here comes a pitch from Reyna. In there for strike number one. Evens it up now, one and one. See if she can have fun with two outs here. Reyna delivers. And that will be low and away for ball number two. Good hitters count, two and one now. And pop up, nice catch by Gabby Adams. So we will go, as that was a quick top of the sixth inning, we'll go to the bottom of the sixth. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Frontier Team Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the softball field where the score is 2 nothing as Greenfield has shut out Frontier so far. And big thanks to Kenzie Pollen. She has 11 strikeouts on the night. And I just jinxed her there as that one's away. And the batter is Raina Wanze. And it's the uh, mano y mano, as I call it, pitcher versus pitcher. Here comes the pitch. That will be high and away as well. So a 2 out count. Kenzie's got to work her way back here. 2 and 0 count. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Kenzie Pollen. That'll make it two, two and one count. Pollen delivers. And strike two called. Two and two. On the <laughs> and ground over to third baseline. Throws it over to first, and that will be out. 
number one. Nice play by number 29, Olivia LeMay. So that will bring up Abby Schreiber. Here comes the pitch. Schreiber lays it down. Pollen will field it and throws it over to first. So one pitch, two outs there. One pitch at bat for Schreiber. And that will bring up Ashley Taylor, the center fielder for the Red Hawks. And the leadoff hitter. So Frontier down to their final four outs. See if Taylor can have fun with two. Shows bump, pulls it back. It's definitely cold out here. <laughs> Standing, sitting still. Ben's nice and warm as I look over to him. No, he's, he's cold. <laughs> Paul delivers and that'll be a strike. Number one. Oh, one count for Taylor. The bench making some interesting noise. Grounder down the third baseline and stays fair. Taylor will take out the second as there was no call from the M. And a double for Ashley Taylor. Having fun with two here. Double to the left field. That will bring up D. Laney Fightfield. And as I believe, I think that is only the second hit Frontier's got on Kenzie Pollen. So Lou Fightfield, the batter. Shows Bond. And Taylor will steal third with these. So what that did is Fifield shows bunt. It draws the third baseman in. So she's off third and she can get third. What a play there. Heads up. Base running and good call by Coach Dean. <laughs> Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. A one count. Pollen delivers. And that will be, uh, I think it's one and two is the count. And she swung and missed on that one. Here comes the pitch. High for ball two. Good catch by Ainsley Flynn. As Taylor was looking to run home on that one. So two and two count. Oh, pop up back to the pitcher. Kenzie drops it. And Fifield will get the RBI base hit. There's a bloop single by Lou Fifield. Wow. So Frontier breaks the shutout 
from a double from Ashley Taylor. And Fifield gets on there. And number 20, Natalie Wells, will pinch run for Delaney Fifield. And now Greenfield's coach back out there. He's talking to Paulin as the lead run now at first base, or the tying run, excuse me. The lead run is at home. So this is a big at bat from Skylar Steele here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Steele 0 for 2 on the night. See if she can get things rolling here. Swing and a miss, says that one was a low. A one count. Here comes the pitch from Paul and swing and a miss. O two count. And Scott Steele will call time. Still 0-2 count. Here comes the payoff pitch. Oh, Steele gets a hold of that one. Deep center field. Can't quite get there, so. That will be out number three <laughs> to end the sixth inning. But Frontier, they get on the board. We'll go to the top of the seventh inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. The dynamic duo <laughs> and the uh, center field, right field. They did a little cartwheel out there. So Frontier's still talking it over. Top of the seventh inning. And the batter is Madison LeMay. And she had an RBI double to center field her last at bat. And that will be inside for ball one. Frontier did break the shutout though in the bottom of six. Greenfield will see if they can get that run back here or Frontier can hold them. That one's in the dirt. 2-0 count for Madison LeMay. Comes the pitch, called strike, 2-1. And Reina delivers and fouled off it. Five field in the mass there off her glove. Seems all right. 
So two and two count. Reyna delivers and fouled off again. If I feel the brick wall back there. So still 2-2. Two -two. Comes the sixth pitch of the bat. Swing and a miss. Strikeout swinging. And that will be... Try to count the strikeouts here. Seven strikeouts on the night for uh, Reyna Wanze. And the batter is Kelly Lewis. That'll be a swing and a miss. The left fielder for um, the Greenfield Green Wave. Over two on the night. Let's see if she can get a hit here. And that will actually it's a uh, pitch pinch hitter. It's Bananka Bananka uh, Reynolds. So number twelve. Anyways, one and two count as she fouls that one back. And that'll be strike three called. Strikeout number eight for Reyna Wanze. And that will bring up LR, second baseman for Greenfield Green Wave. Comes a pitch from Reyna. That'll be high for ball one. If you can get a hit here. Have fun with two. And that will be in the dirt for ball number two. Greenfield still leading two to one. It's been a great game so far. Very close one all night. Here comes the pitch. Strike called right down the middle, two to one. Comes the pitch, swing and a miss. That'll be two to two, two and two now. Excuse me. See if see if Frontier can get out of it right now. Comes the pitch, and that'll she'll be hit by pitch. So <laughs> she'll get on base. H. And that will bring up uh, the, uh, Sarah McLeod, the right fielder for the Greenfield Wave. That one's called there for a strike. 0 1 now. Here comes a pitch from Reyna. And that'll be high for ball. Number one, one and one now. Still two outs, and that one's foul. Tip hits five fields mask again. Coach and I'm making sure she's all right. Seems good to go. Still one, two count. Here comes the pitch. And that one's in the dirt. And as LR 
didn't quite take off the second there, so still at first. Comes a pitch. And down the first baseline. <laughs> As the first base coach gets out of the way there. Two and two. New ball on the mound. <laughs> Here comes the pitch from a uh, pop up and out of play. So I'll very long at bat here. Still two and two. Here comes the pitch from Reina. Strike three called. And that will be strikeout number nine, I believe, on the night. And uh, it's all in the hands of the Frontier Red Ox as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And uh, we will quickly thank our sponsors. We are sponsored by Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Adele Street in uh, Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom a call at and her office at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberhearing.com. As well as we are sponsored by Gilmore Farrell Ins Insurance and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television as we are in the top of the seventh inning where the score is 2-1 to one and the Hawks must score here. And Michonne lays off that one for ball number one. And she has one of only three hits on the night. So she won for two. And she had a hit in the second inning to shortstop. Here comes a pitch from Pollen. Pop up. We'll see if that one goes out of play, and it does. So, uh, one and one count now. Frontier broke the shutout last inning with an RBI um, hit to the back to the pitcher from Delaney Fifield. And Paulin will deliver low and inside for ball number two. Two and one count here. Better put your rally caps on. We are in the bottom of the seventh inning. Frontiers down to their last three lives. They need a run. Here comes the pitch. And grounder up the middle, Mashan will reach first base. So, we'll, I'll be right back.
For those watching at home, we just got ourselves a double here. We have people on first, or sorry, on second and third base. And I do believe that was number 16, Addy, who hit that amazing ball. We just had number four take first base after that, Gabrielle Adams. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. <laughs> I'm back, and uh, so is the iPod. So what occurred there is um, uh, a double, and uh, Adams was intentionally walked. So um, anyways, the bases are loaded with no outs. 3-2 full count, so the tying run could be walked right now. Full count. This is a huge pitch right here. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Mikoski strikes out. So that will be out number one. Pace is still loaded, and we go to Reina Wanze, the pitcher versus pitcher. This is a huge at-bat right here. Frontier down to their last two lives. And that one is away for ball number one. Good stop by Ainsley Flynn. Pollen looks for the pitch. 
And here comes the delivery. Strike called. One and one. Last at bat. Grounded out to the third baseman. Comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Pollen delivers the heat. One and two count. Every pitch counts now. Raina's got to swing at anything close and protect that plate. Here comes the pitch. High and away. Two and two. Here comes the pitch from Pawn. Swing and a miss. Strike out swinging. And Frontier down to their last at bat, last life here. All hope is down to Abby Schreiber, the right fielder for the Red Ox. Here comes a pitch from Pollen. Shows Bunt. Flynn looks to throw it down to Michonne. And Coach Dean calls time. And he's going to talk things over with Schreiber here. So an 0 1 count. Bases loaded. Big pitch here. Here it comes. And hit. Down to shortstop. Throws it over to first. Not in time. Balls away. And now the play. Frontier will take the lead. Oh, man. 3-2 as Abby Schreiber comes up big as they, that'll win the game. The Frontier wins it! They win it! <laughs> and Frontier, what a way to finish the game. Wow. Great job by Abby Schreiber, she comes up big. And uh, Frontier beats Greenfield in a rivalry matchup. What a way to win it. We, Scott, we've seen two come from behind victories this week. We saw the baseball team do it against Hampshire. Uh, they were down 5-1. to to one. And they came back and scored four runs in the sixth inning. This time Frontier, they do it. They get one in the sixth and two in the seventh. So... Bit of an upset, but an excellent night. You have to say, uh, I mean, Kenzie Pollen pitched excellently all night. I mean, both sides, Frontier, they come away with the win, and what a way to do it. So we will quickly, quickly thank our sponsors, uh, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Riddell Street in uh, Greenfield, Massachusetts. Uh, you can give my... Mom in her office to call it 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit albahearing.com. As well as Gilmore Insurance. Or Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Uh, as well as Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FKF Sports. We will see you guys next time. You're watching Frontier Connects' television. Tom Albert and Ben Roberts.